Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. Sorry about the ending of the last video. Um, I just not deleted the stuff off my camera and uh, the memory was full. So, one of those things, my own fault. But uh, here we have what I've done. And as you can see, it doesn't actually look much like uh, violet, does it? But I'll see how things go. Okay, so. To do the highlights, first layer of highlights, I think I'm going to be using Kislev Flesh. Let's see how it looks, first of all. And on his head. What we want to do is avoid or what we want to avoid or what we don't want to do is uh, get this in the creases. That's it almost to be a a dry brush technique we will use on this at the moment. And I said that is just at the moment because what we'll do after this is we'll go over with a different colour of wash. And if you remember from what I was saying on the lead up to this one um, this is an experiment I've never done this before in this way anyway um, whenever I've done flesh it's usually been the way I've done the orcs which have been uh, wash over with um, Agrax earth shed after I put the the flesh coat on but I think I started off first of all with a colour that was too dark what I'm doing here is just dry brushing over use the larger brush I think I will I'll give it a try with the larger one let's see if it's necessarily goes any better but see if we can get get it done any quicker Um, I'm not sure as I think as I said I think I may have done the the base cut to dark if I'd have done it in this colour and then gone over with um, a paler wash oh, sorry a paler skin tone it may have been a better option I 
I'll use the best to go flesh mixed with another colour to lighten it. Would possibly have been better. I don't know, I just decided to try using different colours rather than mixing just for a change. Um, also using the um, new gooey Gucci Violet for a wash instead of using a Rex Earth shade. So we're just trying to get on the um, raised areas covered as best as. Once we've done that we'll go over with a second wash in the hope that that will change the colour again somewhat and then I may go over again with this colour rather than get a a different colour again on it. Um, time will tell, time will tell. Let's just see how things go. So this again is the Kizzler Flesh. I think I should have really used this one to cover it rather than best to go but I'm not bothered about going into all the crevices because there's a few deep ones in this figure so as though the mistake I made up. I should have used I should have used this straight off. And then highlighted with Ungar flesh. Or oh, used Ungar flesh and highlighted with this one, but never mind. Just can't at the moment work out which one is the uh, the lighter shade. Okay, so that is the ogre. I'm going to have to stop the camera for a second because I've uh, I seem to have misplaced my uh, kitchen roll that I used to dry my brushes on. So I just need to go and get some more. very shortly. Also give uh, give this paint enough time to dry before I put the next wash on. Okay. So that's that done. I think what we'll do next is uh, the second wash. I'll leave all this clothing and everything until last. And this wash is a different colour, it's not violet, it's not brown, it's Carolberg Crimson. Never used this colour before, it's uh, should as I would imagine be a red colour. I'm 
this hopefully is going to add a certain hopefully this will add a certain something to it it will hopefully um, merge in with the violet that I put on earlier and make an interesting colour in the shadows in the recesses while adding quite an interesting shade to the highlights but we will see when it all comes together if it all comes together as I say this might be an experiment that's doomed to failure from the very start and we'll need wiping off or it'll need stripping and whatever starting all over again with it if that's the case that's the case but you win some you lose some you, know, you can't get everything perfect or or good every time you do it and so far just lucky that I've managed to be able to salvage stuff that I've done and I can't say that every every paint every figure that I've painted on camera has been good and some that look okay on camera but when you actually see them as it were, in the flesh, look awful. But, uh, I say you win some, you lose some. And hopefully, when this one, uh, when the wash on this dries, it will be one of those that turns out relatively okay. There we go. So that's that done. Now there's nothing really much I can do now, but what I will do is paint the axe head black. Um, as I said, I'm going to do that as a stone axe head, so um, I'm going to match it to the colours used on the base. So I'll use them, bring the black over here and just slap the paint on hope for the best in fact I think I'm quite sure this doesn't look much like a stone axe I'm beginning to think I made a mistake by saying I'm going to do this stone. I'm not going to do this stone. So I'm, just, I'm still going to paint it black, like a base coat, and then go over it with um, my usual tin bits, followed by um, oh, what's it called? What's that colour I like using for blue metal? Um, oh, bulgur metal. I'm thinking of the name. There we go. So I'm now one stage, one day for closer to my big unveiling of uh, my um, 3D terrain for Castle Wave Off at the Games Club. Hopefully, people will like it. Um, I'm going to leave that now because 
that wash needs to dry, so I don't don't want to do anything more to that now. That's about all I can think of at the moment. My head is cabbaged. I'm ready for bed. Um, I had about three hours sleep last night, and I'm up again early in the morning, so um, I really do need to get some sleep. But for now, I said I'm going to have to leave this ogre to dry. Not doing too badly at the moment, but um, there's still a few big bits of sogginess there. Um, but tomorrow I can come back, I can finish him off, and hopefully it'll look okay. If not, he'll have to go in the dettol, soaking for a few hours, then scrub him clean, start again. But Anyway, that's all by the by, and uh, until the next video, like I say, take care, God bless, bye for now, good night, um, yeah, sleep well, and laddie says good night as well, in case you didn't hear that growl. <laughs> okay, so take it easy, I'll see you next time.